Shir sponsor Luy Nishmas Ayn Biakoshom Leavas Yitzchok. We are holding Bavakamo Daf Ayn Greg Merubo. We're starting it in the top line in the Amud, the first line. Says the Gemara has something which the Iker in the Kuta here is not does not relate to our sugya, but because there's one point which connects the sugya, so we mention it. What is that? Says the Gemara as follows: Oma Amri Nardur Nardur said. What is orchaso? Always means hasha. What's hasha? Hasha means that one gives a star to a lender or to a, a debtor where he could go and have power to some, you give the debtor, so he gives it to somebody to be able to extract money or to extract karkaris or or, or nechasi from the from the bar. You don't do a metalta. Metal you can't give hasha. My time. What's the reason? Because we just learned in our sugya. Someone stole. There was no yush. They both can be magdish. One is not his. The other one is not his possession. Meaning possession, as we learned yesterday in Lent, possession is required in order to be able to do anything. So you need possession. So here, this these nechassim are not in the own in the possession. Of the lender, the the the, the debtor, so he can't give our shofar. Ikedam, some say. How many I do? Look, as soon or so, metalde the kafri. Some say you don't do it only if he's denying it. If he's not denying, you do do it. Time of the kafri, why the mirzik shiko? It looks like a lie. He, the guy says, Ruben says, Shimon owes me money. I'm giving Levi the power of attorney to take it, and Shimon, Shimon says, I don't owe you money. So this thing looks like a, like a lie. I'm not going to write something that has, I'm right on the star. Reuven is giving Levi the power of attorney to take the money that Shimon denies. Looks like a lie. Avaloi kafri kadvina. If you didn't deny it, you're a kursiv. You're sharing this discuss why you're a What about Rabbi Yechonah? So either of is, we disagree with Rabbi Yechonah. I mean, that's the two gears of the Gemara. First gear so holds, we like, like Rabbi Yechonah, anything is not in your possession, you can't do. And second one holds, even if it's not in your possession, you can do it. That's some that's some Rishayim say. The other Rishayim say, no. It's a Tatakona de Rabbanu. Tatakona de Rabbanu. You're right. Really, it should have work. I mean, the Rabbanu wanted to help somebody to be able to extract money. I want to get a power attorney and be able to to to, to be going with my law. So then, Rabbi Amin, I don't understand another thing about Ochoso. Ochoso, the Lekhtib, it doesn't say there. Zildoin, Vezachi, Ve'aki, Latvik, Lavshach. It doesn't say there, you, my power attorney, you could go and you will take a piece, you will take for yourself. Even though between, between them, you can say, once you take it yourself, you'll gift it to me or whatever. But it has to be written that you are the one who's doing it. So it doesn't work. Why? It has nothing into it. You're not my... Uh, why are you coming? I'm power of attorney. Who are you? You're not that. Why? What is your stake? He has to have a stake in it. So right now, the stake is, he, he's going to get the nefas. But if it says that the, power, that the attorney, who's getting the power of attorney, he has half, a third, or even a quarter. Once he's talking about his whole chilek, he can talk about the whole thing. It doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to say that everything goes to the attorney. It can say it gets 20%, and that's good enough. So here are the big mechlegs we're showing him. Who are we talking about itofas? Rashi learns, I mean, Rashi will be really too shot him. <coughs> if you want to see inside, Rashi says he told us, Shliach Mishal Nehma, meaning the Shliach, who is the power attorney, he has the power attorney, he is Teufus. Even though it does not say the words that you have to say, that he has the power attorney for himself, it, if he took it away, he took it on his own, you can't take it away from him. Lo Shadachir says Rashi, meaning Reuven sent Levi to take Roshimim. Levi takes Roshimim. And then Reuben tells Levi, where's my money? He says, I'm not giving you the money. This is mine. I'm keeping it to myself. Levi came in. You don't think of it. The cost of which was a going in the So that's the right shot. Rashi Oma, Kiran the castle, they called him Miss Ani Medino, Kabir Salai, Shlir Shah. He says, no. He writes there in the Shtar, you come, and Rabbi Yav, you have power attorney, you'll take it for yourself. But if there's any issues, any expenses that happen because of this judgment, it's on me. I take all. I, I take liability. Oh, so what would he, why is, is Reuben taking liability for Levi? Because Levi is only a shliach. So that indicates he's a shliach. 
And therefore what? So according to the second shot, the sheikh can't keep it. According to the, to the, fir, to the first shot, he can grab it from, from, from Shimon. Because no, you're not, you're not a, the, the main guy. You're just a shliach. So it's a shliach shav. He could have a shoot for shav. No, he's not a shliach, he's a, he's a pro, partner. My community in the mitzvah spalko. Could he catch at least half? He has a shliach shav, he's only a shliach, even though he writes more. That's what many other children learn. Even though he writes more, because he, at the end of the day, the main intention is for him to be the shliach. Some of the Rishonim take away the word because of Shliach So there's a big discussion on Allah, how do we pass him over here? Okay, look the mission. Konam api shnayim, v'tobach umochar al piyim. So you have two A.D. that say, oops, this person stole. And then there's two persons say, you know, by the way, he not only stole the ravens. He only, not only stole the animal, he also shakhed the animal. He did both. Or api shnayim achem. Or you have other A.D. You have two sets of A.D. One set says he stole. The other set says he shechted. In both cases, he pays four and five. He stole and he sold on Shabbos. He stole and he sold it for every desire. He stole and he sold it in Kippur. And he shechted in Kippur. Or he stole from his father. And he did tzvichu mechira, ve'achakach meisov, even then the father died after he did tzvichu mechira. Or another case, kara ve'tova ve'achakach higdish, he did gniva tzvichu, then he gave it to higdish, v'shata shabbat chavish. All these cases, he pays four and five. By Shabbos, he's chayav for selling it. The Moses can explain why you don't say kibun levi deravani. Not when he shechts on Shabbos. On Shabbos, Shabbos, you have kibun levi deravani, which means what's kibun levi deravani? He's going to get punished with death. So therefore, you don't pay for the stealing. But but selling, you do pay for it. The Moses can explain exactly what. If he did for every desire as well, uh, the Gemara is going to explain that this is you not have misa in that case. Or he did you kipper, you have karis, you not have misa's basin. Or he stole from his father and he did teficha before he inherited him. So he's chayd alve. He stole, he did teficha before he didn't give him hegdish. He's chayd alve because he was chayd before. We'll see later what happens in all these cases. The flip side of the cases. So continues the mission. It says, "Kol of the tovach lirifu all the klavim." If he stole and he shechted. He didn't want to do it for himself. He wants to use the meat or the blood for medicine purposes or for dogs. Or a sheikh that he says trayful. He shechted and he finds it to be trayful. Ha sheikhid chulim ba'azor, he shechted chulim ba'azor. Shachat ha-shuah ba'av ha-chamin, she called all these things are shechito. Yeah, he's not eating it, or he's not allowed to eat it, but still shechito. Shemit poit te b'shteh, Shemit says the last two that you're not allowed to eat, not only he's not eating, like when he does it for medicine purposes, but he's not allowed to eat your potter, and the ones that explain because he holds Shechita she'in a ruuyo lav shmo shechita. Shechita you can eat, not a real shechita. Okay. Says the Gemara, "Leim masnis in the loyk yarbekiv." Chulav mishas yarbekiv. Yo, the loyk yarbekiv all nayr. Dovah v'lechot yitol. We're talking about the fact that you have two groups of aid. One group says he stole. The other group says what? He did tefichah. You say chayav. One second. It's only chatzid dovah. None of them is doing, is speaking, is testifying on the full story. <laughs> One thing stores half a story, those cells eat the tree. The time, your price. I'm not basic. You show like Abba Khalafto, it's a real rebunu. Who's Abba Khalafto? Abba Khalafto is the father of a basic. Interesting discussion here, not only here, because we're different places. The Shaila is how does, how does your basic call his father Abba Khalafto? How does he call him his, his name? That's supposed to call your father your name. So, how is your basic calling his father Khalafto? So many, the Chido brings that because he gave him the nickname, he gave him the title, Abo, so then you could call the name. You're allowed to call your father if you give him a title before. Uh, some argue, interesting discussion, here's a riot that you could. So when Amr Khalafta went to one learning by Rehachim and Nuri, the Nuri Torah, the Hamilton, some say, Rehachim Nuri, it's Abba Khalafta, so it was the opposite. Who learned by you? Was Rehachim Nuri by Abba Khalafta, Abba Khalafta by Rehachim Nuri? Discussion. So then what? With that final base, Omer Loi. So he had him. He had a shy question and learning. They spoke and learning, and he said the following: Harei sheochlo shana rishonu b'vnei shnayim, shniyah b'vnei shnayim, shliz b'vnei shnayim ma. Right. So you have like this: you have a din. What's the din? The din is that when you are, when you have a three people, you need to have chazaka of how many years? We learn. We learn about basra. You have to have Chazokah three years in order to hold on to the Sadeh. Someone holds to the Sadeh. Within three years, they come to him and say, where is your document? Show me your deed. 
After three years, it doesn't have to be Nizar Bishtar anymore. Now, you need 18, he was there for three years. You have 218 and say he was there year one, 218 and say he was year two, and 218 and say he was year three. Is that good enough? Omer Lo, I raised Chazok. So said, so answered either Rabbi Abba Chalavto or Rabbi Chabinui. He answered, it is fine. Omer Lo, I have a new So I said that. Elo, Shabbat Kiba, Cholik, Vadova, Kiba Argus. Shabbat Kiba, I'm there, Dova, Vilchatzidov. Kiba says, you can't do half a Dova. You need a three year Adus. And you have only of a year only one, only only three eighty. You don't have one. Each one of them is only one year. It's not enough. There's only half stuff. So says the Gemara. I'm Abayi. I feel the same. Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva will agree. We learned that Rabbi Kiva b'shtayim or in kiddush or shtayim or in boal. Does Rabbi Kiva agree when you have two eighty that says there was kiddushin and two eighty that says there was beilu, meaning he, she was nivel to somebody else, right? So two eighty say that she is married to play. And then come to Eidim Achim and say she was never held to somebody else. Why you want to punish her? Because she's there. I know she's there. Other Eidim. The other of the Eidim be Yotzur Chalei Kedushin. You don't. You can't punish with the Eidim be only. Came on the Eidim Kedushin like Yotzur Chalei Kedushin. Because the Kedushin don't need Eidim be all. Dova Karina Ben. It's considered to be that's good enough. Meaning what? The first Eidim don't need the second ones. They say she was Kedushin. Do, do they need any more Eidus to make it into Kedushas? The eight is good enough. Shem discussed it different ways. What's the reason? What's the shot? But the push of shot, <coughs> the taste learns as well. If the first eight were not dependent on the second eight, they have a full double. Now the second eight do depend on the first eight, and because the first eight was standing on their own, they can add to them the second eight. You're right. Eight that say that he shed the animal, it's not enough to be having without knowing that he stole it. You have to have eight that say that he stole it. But if I made the Gnevo, the Tsukhle, the Tvicho, but the Aiden of the Gnevo don't need the Aiden of the Tvicho. Dova Karina Bay. So he called Dova. Right? That, that's good enough. So, so the Gemara says, Rabbi Kiva is the one who says, Dova Lechatz Dova. It needs to be a full Aiden. Rabbi don't argue. But in this case, Rabbi Kiva will agree because one of the Aiden is, is enough. So, Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva, Dova Lechatz Dova, and Mutemai. What are they going to come to exclude with Dova Lechatz Dova? Mute Echad Oim Echad Begabo, Echad Mechad Bekreso. One eight says they have to testify on a woman that she has two sides, she has two ears. So one says, I saw from the front, from the stomach, I saw one ear. And the other one says, I saw from the back. Each one saw one ear, and that's it. Says them, well, what are you talking about? You don't have 280 at all. You don't have any 280 testifying. You have one eight on this, one eight on this. One says, she, he saw one ear, the other one says, another ear. Each one says she's a ketani. Meaning what? What's the difference between that and let's say chazob? So the way most of the Shoyim learned is like this. If you see a, a, a girl with one ear, she's a ketani. The other day you see another girl with one ear, she's a ketani. The only way you make a ketani because you put together the two ages. That's called chazidah. But chazoko, I'm saying, what am I saying? I'm saying that year one, he was there. I, I, I know she was, they were there for year one. Year two, he was there. Year three, he was there. Together, I'm establishing a chazak. Now, the Rosh Hashanah bothered about it in a second, but each one on his own is not saying anything. So the Rosh says different things. Either you are saying, or you're not saying. You see, you have a full third. It's not like one ear doesn't say anything. You have the, the first third. All the Rosh Hashanah say, Pshat is, you do whatever you can do at the moment. And the first ear, you can see only the first ear. So right now, I'm seeing everything I can see. It's not like the two ears that I'm seeing only have, have a thing. So different ways of showing you saying it. You, 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 it's the time thing, or you're testifying in something shalim. Different ways to say it. But the point is that when you're speaking about chazaka, I'm taking different pieces, adding together. Here, it's not called a piece because each ear stands on its own and doesn't say anything. And therefore, in order to make a regular you need them to see the two eighties. That's tovah lechatz tovah. Go to our bottom. But the keyboard argues and <coughs> says that even the chazaka doesn't add up. Says the gemara gonav umocha b'shabes. So now we're going into the case of mishnayos. So Mishnah says. Someone who stole and he sold it on Shabbos. And so then he's Chayav. But we learned the price that says you Potter when he sold on Shabbos. What he did is he told, he told the Ganov like this The Ganov comes to Shmerl. Shmerl, I have something beautiful I got today. Shabbos, you want to buy? He says, Yes, you know what you'll do? 
cut a fig from my tree, and and that will be your your payment. <laughs> and and then my I'll be calling to this animal that you stole in Shabbos. Right? Look at the Rashi. That will be the payment of the grave. The Shabbos. Chen also. <coughs> when a person cuts a fruit from the tree, what, what happens? What does he have? Chai Misa. He has to be killed. So this Gano, by selling, at the same time that he's selling, he's Chai Misa for Shabbos. Now, if it didn't keep him labor to Ramani, you just punish him with Misa, you don't punish him with money, and that's where Betvich he put That's the case he put But in our case, we're talking about that he sold without the Yichil Shabbos. Amri, so we came in the Chitobo de Kaman Medino. So one second. I have a problem with this. This is not considered to be a, a, a here at all. Why not? I mean, what's the case? The case is the Ghana stole, and then he sold it on Shabbos in a way that he's chayav misa. So he's saying, because Kim and Ramani, he's not chayav dalve. You know why he's not chayav dalve? Because there's no sale. There was no sale. What happened to the guy who bought it? Goes to the basin and says, or boy said, this guy sold me a chayfitz. I, I won my uh, my chayfitz. The basin will look at it and say, no. You can't ask him for his money because he's chayfitz on that on that sale. So if you chayfitz, so you're not going to be able to be TV and basin. So Gmur says, you have the big yisoyed. It's really, um, uh, my Ra'al says it in their chayim. Things is brought down the chayim. The simple, and that's how you can understand the simple of shouting anymore. If there's no way to demand it, there's no sale. The definition of a sale or a transaction is that I could call him and ask for it and demand it. Here I can't demand it. So, so the more here now, the came and the he totally come on. He goes to the bedina, he goes to the basin. Why is he not going to pay? Why? The mechir and the mechir. So the mechir is not mechir. So why, why, what's the, why should be chayed all day? So that can't be the pshat. So he says, what I wanted to do is, I want you, um, <coughs> I want you to sell, I want you to throw the Gnev into my chutzah. Throw the Gnev, the Gnev goes, you throw it into my chutzah. And you either Isser, Shabbos, Avoytzah. And when it, when it comes to my chutz, I'll buy it. And then I owe you money. Keep on. That goes like a Rekiva that says that the minute it reaches the airspace of the chutz, it's considered to be as if it's it resting. So once it reaches the chutz of the house, once it reaches the air, he is chayav because it's, it's considered to be already corner in the airspace of the chutz. The end Shabbos of Yechayim, but the Matalah is not Chavat Shabbos until it reaches the ground. So it's not coming together. So we know you can see even according to our Baron Boim, Elo Tikni Li Gnevusech Achet Tanuach. So talking about in this case, he's not coming until it comes down. Either because according to our Baron, because that's what he said. According to our Bikim, everything is happening there, so it's happening together. <coughs> so therefore, what? So over here, you you are going to be Chayav the money because the guy is throwing the Gnev into the Chutzer and he's coming. Now he owes the money. Can he go and ask for the money? Yeah. He, the guy of the Mechiro, the buyer owes him the money, so there was a Mechiro over here, but he's Chayim Miso, not Mechiro. It's not like when he's cutting a piece of the tree. He's cutting a piece of the tree, so how is he doing the Mechiro? By doing Chilu Shabbos, he's Chayim Miso. Here the Chatzor's cutting it, and now, right, he's doing Chilu Shabbos by translating to the Chatzor, but now he's Chayim, after the Kiro Chatzor, now he's Chayim Mois. Um, okay, so one says, Really, it's like Aaron Mechal, like a first answer. Hi, it was like a first answer. So there's no Mechira because he can't demand it in Basin. So says, No, no, it's not, it's, it's not exact. Even though you can demand it in Basin, it's still a transaction. Where do we see this example? Like, why? Etna no Satoyu Afilu Boalim. A person, what's etran? Etran means when a person pays for his nus, he goes, he gives a zoino, a payment for the fact that she was with him, and he gives her an animal. That animal you cannot bring to the mizbech. Can't bring to the mizbech. 
Now what happens if this person, the Shegetz, has a relationship with his mother and he's paying her the animal? Is the animal mutter in his back or is it also in his back? Says the Gemara, es tano soto yu afilu ba'alimun. It's also, even though he can't have a relationship with his mother. Tell me one second. He totally can't be dino. If she'll come and demand it in Beis Din, me amrinu lekum avle it's not. She's gonna go to Beis. So the boy said, "This guy, uh, he, he committed to pay me money for my services." Someone say, "Who are you? You're the mother. He's Chai Misa. You're not gonna pay you, so you can't demand the money. It's still us." And I've got the chikatav and everything. Even though when you go to Beis Din, lo emin lezil avle, he still he doesn't pay. Once he gives her, it is it not? In other words, it's a real, what is Bill Gore saying? It is a transaction. You just can't extract it in basic, but the transaction happened. Different than we said before. Before, the more understood, if I can demand it in basic, it's not a transaction. It's more, no. Something you can't demand in basic, but the transaction is still a transaction. That's what that is also. Today, for money, he comes and demands it. He doesn't have to pay. If he's going to pay for money, he comes and demands it. He doesn't have to pay. But he, uh, he, yes. even so, because he's coining, what is he coining? It, it is still a Kenyan, Kenyan works. It, so it's a Bechira, and therefore he's Chayav on Shabbos. What is the more saying? The more is asking, what will be a case that you sell in your Chayav Misa? So more's first answer was, you know, let's go to the second answer. Hey, let's go through my husband. The first answer was, he told him, cut a piece of my date, my fig, and I'll be coining it. So it's chayim So one second, if, if he's going to come and say, "Okay, I gave you the fig, give me back my uh, give the animal," so I'm not giving you the animal. You can't take it from me. So there's no mechir. So one says, "No, we talk about that he threw the animal to the chutzur. The chutzur is coining it. So there's nothing to go to base. It's already by him. Right? That, that's what we, missed, we didn't mention before. It's already by him, and he paid for it. He owes the money now. So now you have already the animal. You have to pay money for it. That money, you're not chayim dal Why? Because it's chayim misa for the fact that he threw an animal into the chutzur. This is more no, you can say like the first answer. Ha, ah, you can't demand it in the for the money. Even though you can't demand it in the it's still a this is, is there such a thing in Mechira that happens if you can't go to Beisdin and demand it? This is what changed your anymore. The habit anymore is if you can't demand it in the it's not a Mechira. And the score is even if you can't demand it in Beisdin, it's still a Mechira. There's still a transaction over here. That's here though. That's the, the, where the, the more ends. Okay, we'll stop over here. Peace Hashem. We'll continue tomorrow at 8.15 sharp. Peace Hashem.